So, hi everyone. So, in continuation to the last video, we discussed about the Indian Pharmacopoeia and British Pharmacopoeia. So, in this video, I would like to highlight United States Pharmacopoeia and European Pharmacopoeia. So, the United States Pharmacopoeia was first edition was published officially in the 15th of December 1820 in both the English language and Latin language. From 1820 to the 1942, it is published at 10 years intervals. From 1942 to 2000, it is published in the interval of 5 years. So, every 5 years, the United States Pharmacopoeia was reconstructed. From 2002, it was published. From 2002 onwards, the United States Pharmacopoeia was published annually. The first national formulary of United States Pharm Pharmacopoeia was appeared in 1888. The United States Pharm Pharmacopoeia 21 national formulary 16th having 8 supplements. The first appeared in the 1985 and the last in the November 1988. So the 21 edition is having 8 supplements. It was first appeared in 1985 and the last in the November 1988. The United States Pharmacopoeia 22 and National Formulary 17th edition is there in the 1990 and this is the third revision that consolidates USP and National Formulary into a single volume. So electronic versions are also available in the USP NF formula and these are electronic versions are available as a floppy disks. So these floppy disks are introducing in the year of 1992. So, USP 23 and NF 80 was published in Mumbai as an Asian edition at the end of the 1994. So, it is started in the year of 1820, 15th December. It is written in both English and uh, Latin language. And uh, from a period of 1820 to the 1942, published in 10 years intervals. Every 10 years the volume was published. From 1942 to 2000, it is uh, the editions are published every five years intervals. From 2002 onwards, every year annually they are publishing. The first national formulary of USP was appeared in 19 was uh, the first year a national formulary of United States Pharmacopoeia was appeared in 1888. And USP 21 NF16 having eight supplements. USP 22 NF17 is having the 1990 period. And the, these revisions are consolidated in the USP NF and these may be making into the single volume. The electronic versions are floppy disks are also available and these floppy disks are introducing in the year of 1992. The USP 23 and the NF national formulary of 18 was published in Mumbai is an Asian edition at the end of the 1994. So these are the highlights in the uh, United States Pharmacopoeia. The USP 23 is having the 10 supplements. The first supplement was published in January 1995 and the last supplement was published in May 1999. USP 24 NF19 is appeared in the 1st January of 2000 and USP 30 National Formulary of 25 was appeared in May 2007. And it is containing the scientific standards for the drugs, dietary substances, biological products and excipients are used in the dosage forms. So these are included in the USP 30 and National Formulary 25. So these will be appeared from 2007 of May. And this edition is mainly containing 4100 monographs and 200 general chapters. And it is, has been published and it has been printed in three volumes. Volume 1 containing general chapters, Volume 2 and 3 containing the drug monographs. The first supplement of USP 30 and NF 25 was appeared in August 27th. And the second supplement is effective from the November 2007, which will be considered as the official from May 2008. From 2006, Spanish editions of United States Pharmacopoeia is also being published. The current edition of USP 2014 is in the process 
and it is already accepted and it is already published. The USP Pharmacopoeia 30 and National Formulary of 25 mainly the key highlights are mainly involving the new heavier PAPA stocks are included in these uh, USP 30 and NF25. The complete table of content and index in each volume is also included. The special using like a new USP NF print it is available in the tutorial CD form and the convenient slip cases for easy access and storage English editions only is available in this uh, USP 30 and the NF 25. So these are the key highlights uh, are included in the USP 30 and NF 25. The USP 31 and the national formulary of 26. So mainly it is containing the single volume combination of a two official compendia year books. The United States Pharmacopoeia and the National Formulary both are combinedly available in a single uh, volume. And the monographs of the drug substances and the preparations are featured in the USP with the monographs of the dietary supplements and the ingredients appear in a separate section for the USP. And the experience of the monographs are also included in the National Formulary of uh, 26th volume. The USP 32 and National Formulary 27 mainly containing more than 4200 monographs and it is also covers 200 general chapters this covering general stresses and essays and this uh, edition is also displays the, the helpful guides and the charts and make it is easy to find focus for the specific information and this edition is mainly includes the information on the emerging areas of the science and medicines and this edition of the 27 NF27 and uh, USP 32 edition helps the ensure the compliances with official standards and these are also enabling the validation of the test results against to the proven benchmarks and it is also creates in-house standards for operating procedures and specifications and this expedites the new product development and approval process so these are the key highlights are mainly containing the USP 32 and NF 27. The USP 33 and NF 28. So this edition is mainly containing more than 4400 monographs. Over 200 general chapters are covering general tests and essays. A new and easy to read format and the monographs layouts are included in this edition. And it is also helpful as a guides and charts that makes easy to find on specific focus for the information and this edition is ensuring the compliances with the official standards and is also established in in-house standard operating procedures and uh, specifications and this edition is also facilitate the new product development and approval process so these are the key highlights mainly containing USP 33 NF 28 edition. The USP 34 and NF 29 it is mainly containing 4500 monographs for a drug substances or a dosage forms, excipients, biologicals or dietary supplements and other therapeutics are included in this edition. USP 34 NF 29 is also offers the harmonized materials and more than 230 general chapters. And with having the current guidelines for the full range of the laboratory testers and established processes mainly for the validating the methods. So these are included in the USP 34 and NF 29. The USP 35 and NS, the USP 35 and N National Formulary 30, it is mainly containing combination of two official compendiums and the United States Pharmacopoeia and National Formulary these are officially applicable on the 1st May of 2012 in the month of April 30th. So USP 35 and National Formulary 30, these are mainly containing the combination of the two official compendia, the United States Pharmacopoeia and National Formulary and these are officially applicable in the 1st May 2012 to the 30 April 2013. If you observe the diagrams, if you observe the pictures, so these are the different editions and different supplements for the USP Pharmacopoeia and the NF formulary is also included. So the first picture is indicating USP NF first supplement. 
and the 2002 edition USB NF supplement and 2007 edition USB NF supplement 2008 edition and the CD RAM floppy disks also is included USB national formulary and also seeing the USB so USB 2007 NF and the USB 2008 NF and the floppy disks are so are seen in these images so 2002 NF is there USB NF and 2007 USB NF and 2008 USB NF and uh, some of the floppy disks are see placing in the cd ram form in the usb national formulary are also displayed in this picture the new edition of usb it is a uh, 42 and nf 37 so this edition you try to refer it and try to note down the key highlights uh, under the usb 42 and nf 37 so you should try to highlight the key highlights on this edition so i given this task for you for the reference purpose so you try to refer it usb 42 and nf 37 so edition and try to note down the key highlights so i will check the key highlights so for in the next section the next one european pharmacopeia european pharmacopeia commission started working since 1964 mainly to prepare the european pharmacopeia standards the first edition of european pharmacopeia was officially published in the year of 1967 the second edition was published in 1980 and the third edition was published in the year of 1997 and the fourth edition was published in 2001 and it is valid from 1st of january 2002 the fifth edition was published in the 15th june 2004 and it is valid from 1st january 2005 the sixth edition of european pharmacopeia was published in the 16th july 2007 and valid from 1st january 2008 the seventh edition of european pharmacopeia was published in the year of Ju 2010 and valid from 1st january 2011 and the eighth edition of european pharmacopeia was published in the year of june 2013 and valid from 1st january 2014 so you need to buy for these years so uh, from the first edition to the eighth edition of european pharmacopeia so first edition 1967 second edition 1980 third edition 1997 fourth edition 2001 and effective 2002 and fifth edition 2004 and valid from 2005 and sixth edition 2007 and valid from 2008 and seventh edition published in 2010 and valid from 2011 and eighth edition was published in 2013 and valid from 2014 so these are the different editions of the european pharmacopeia and their publications dates and their effective dates since so uh, the fifth edition of the pharmacopeia is published in two volumes the volume one containing general chapters and monographs example on the dosage forms and their methods of analysis and their what are the reagents are mainly included in that monographs are uh, mainly stated in this uh, fifth edition and volume 2 containing all substances monographs and during the run time of the current edition of the several supplements are published electronic versions are also available in the cd ram form usb stick on the online versions are also available in the european pharmacopeia later fifth edition so the fifth edition of the pharmacopeia was published in two volumes Volume one containing general chapters and monograph, and volume two containing all substance monographs. During the run time of the current edition of the several supplements are published. The electronic versions are like a CD, ROM, USB stick, and online versions are also available related to the European Pharmacopeia fifth edition. The European Pharmacopeia eighth edition was published in 2013th of June. This edition is mainly requirement for the quantitative and qualitative composition of the medicines, and the tests are to be carried out on the medicines and other substances and materials are used in their production are also included in the 2013th European uh, Pharmacopeia Commission. So, in the 13th edition, 2013th edition of uh, Pharmacopeia, European Pharmacopeia. mainly uh, included for the requirements for the qualitative and quantitative composition of the medicines and the tests are mainly included to carried out for the medicines and drug substances 
or the materials are used in their production area. And it is also covers the active substances, excipients and the preparation of chemical, animal, human or herbal origins or homeopathic preparations or homeopathic stocks, antibiotic drugs or as well as their dosage forms and their containers. And it also includes the, the texts on biologicals, blood products, plasma derivatives, vaccines, radio pharmaceutical preparations are also included in this 2013th edition of uh, European 8th edition. Okay, so and it is also European pharmacopoeia and its requirements are legally binding in the member states of the European pharmacopoeial conventions and European unions. So this 2013th edition of European Pharmacopoeia is very important one because it is covers all active substances and excipients and the preparations for the chemical, animal, human, herbal, homeopathic and the homeopathic stocks and antibiotic drugs of their dosage forms and their containers are included in this uh, edition. So that's why these editions will be very important one and these editions also provides the qualitative and quantitative standards for the medicines mainly for the testing of their production area so if you observe the pictures so these are the european pharmacopoeia 6th volume 1 picture and the european pharmacopoeia 6.5 supplement so here in this case the 6 volume number 1 is published in the year of 2008 and the 6.5 supplement is published in the year of 2009 of the july month so in these pictures, mainly the European Pharmacopoeia, different supplements and different edition books are represented. The first diagram is indicating 4.1 European Pharmacopoeia. And the second diagram, European Pharmacopoeia 6th edition. And the third one, European Pharmacopoeia 6 and volume number 1. And European Pharmacopoeia 6, volume number 1. And uh, European Pharmacopoeia 7 and European Pharmacopoeia 2000 editions are represented in these pictures. I would like to continue in my next video recording the dosage forms. So what is the meaning of the drug and the medicines and why we are using the dosage forms and what are the different types of dosage forms are available for the human use or animal use. So I would like to cover briefly the dosage forms importance and the different types of dosage forms and their significances mainly with related to the treatment and the diagnosis for us. So I would like to tell you, I would like to discuss uh, recording the dosage forms and their importance and their classification and the examples of the products and involving in the dosage form. I would like to discuss uh, the dosage form concept in my next video. So thank you for paying your attention. If you having any queries, you may feel free to contact uh, either by mail or by phone. So I given my mail ID and phone number. So if you having any queries, so you may contact either by mail or by phone. So these are the some of the references I used for the content development. So mainly I followed the pharmacopoeial books, mainly from the IP Indian Pharmacopoeia, British Pharmacopoeia and the United States Pharmacopoeia and European Pharmacopoeia I followed. And some of the uh, open sources also I followed for the content development. And I referred mostly the official pharmacopoeial books uh, for making the content so finally thank you for your patience and uh, you should try to refer the official pharmacopoeial books for the latest versions for finding the different key highlights or mainly involving in the latest versions like ip and british pharmacopoeia so we are mainly following indian pharmacopoeia or british pharmacopoeia mainly for to refer the standards mainly for to operate the procedures for the drug substances and mainly for finding out the their quality in terms of the qualitative way or quantitative way we are mainly referring the official books like indian pharmacopoeia or british pharmacopoeia books so that's why you should majorly concentrate on these two areas of the pharmacopoeias either indian pharmacopoeia or british pharmacopoeia okay so you should majorly concentrating on the uh, these two official pharmacopoeias mostly indian and british pharmacopoeias you try to refer it and you should try to note down the key highlights in the latest editions of the Indian Pharmacopoeia in the 2018 edition and the latest edition of the latest edition of the British Pharmacopoeia in the 2019 editions. So these two editions you refer it and note down the key highlights uh, and you need to give these two, uh, two 
uh, new editions so you should submit the uh, given task to you and this task you should uh, submit to me and I will refer and I will tell you what are the missed points under the new editions.